Hey everybody, welcome back to another online business success tip. And right now what I want to talk about is some of the flaws in the mindset of an employee. Uh, you know, employee versus entrepreneur, there's, there's a couple of huge differences, okay? And what I want to talk about is where you go wrong thinking like an employee, the limitations you're putting on your success. Um, you know, it, it really starts with, with, with one major component, and that is your income cap. When you're an employee, uh, you, you put a cap on your ceiling, all right? You're trading dollars for hours. And as long as you do this, I mean, there's only so much income you can make. We only have 24 hours in the day. That's all any of us get. So if all you're doing is trading dollars for hours, there's a ceiling. There's only so much money you can make, right? And, and it doesn't matter if you're getting paid hourly or salary. You still have that cap. You can only put so much work in. You can only earn so much money. Whereas an entrepreneur, now you can set up systems that will allow you to work 24-7. I mean, you can be earning money all the time in your sleep. That's where your passive and residual come from. Or collecting efforts uh, on our downline. I mean, we, we get paid for residually for a lot of the things the people we bring into our business achieve. So you're, you're accomplishing income on so many different more levels as an entrepreneur than you are as an employee. You haven't given yourself that ceiling. But some of the other big things you give up as an employee is freedom and control. Uh, let's look at the freedom portion of it. Now here you are as an, employee, as an employee, you've got somebody telling you when to come to work, when you go home to work, when you can take a day off, how many hours you can work, again, there's your ceiling. Uh, you, you've allowed somebody else to control your life. You know, just last week we had an issue here where, you know, we've got two daughters, Lisa and I, we have two kids. Uh, one of them had taken ill, so I had to take off and go pick her up from school. No big deal, but I mean, she was sick and I had to go get her. It was nothing endangering, but nonetheless, as a parent, this is something you have to deal with. Now, at that time, my other daughter's getting out of preschool, so I had to drop this one off. Lisa took her to the doctor. I went to the, went to the school and picked our younger daughter up from preschool. All of these things you can do because you have the liberties. I never had to tap my boss on the shoulder and say, hey, uh, you know, i got to go take care of my kid. Would it be okay if I left a little early today? It doesn't happen. When you're an entrepreneur, you do what you want. You work when you want. You come and go as you please. All right? So that's a freedom you give up. It, it, it's one of many freedoms you give up. Now, when you get to the control thing, it's, it's, it's all kind of the same thing. You're allowing somebody else to control your life. Your boss, your supervisor, the owner of the company, the CEO, these people are pushing the buttons that control your life. They're in control of your life. You aren't. So now, here's your boss. Maybe he's sitting at a desk. Maybe he's in a cubicle. Maybe he or she are, are in, in an ivory tower somewhere. Or let's think about it this way. Here's something really scary to look at. Maybe the CEO of the company you work for, maybe they're on a cruise ship right now, sucking down their sixth Long Island iced tea, getting all buzzed up, and they're making the decisions that control your future. Now, if they drop the ball and, and the business crashes, are they going to get laid off? No. Are they going to get downsized or lose their jobs or their income? No. I mean, they own the company. Who's going to suffer? You are. You're the one that's going to pay the price for their decisions, good or bad. Now, when you're an entrepreneur, you own your company. All right, you are in control. You're the one that makes the decisions that move you forward successfully. Or, you know, hey, listen, I mean, we make mistakes and some of our ideas fail. That also goes back to you. But again, you're in control. Uh, for me, I, I find it much easier, you know, even on a bad note, I can swallow losing money or, or taking a step backwards on one of my mistakes a lot easier than I can somebody I don't even talk to. Uh, you know, like I said, when your boss drops the ball, you suffer. I don't suffer unless I drop the ball. And that's a lot easier to deal with knowing it came on my hands as somebody else's. So well, I guess what I'm saying is, guys, listen, you need to get out of that employee mindset. You have to stop thinking about trading dollars for hours. And, and, and you've got to regain control of your life. You've got to regain your freedom. That's what, this, that's what this industry is so wonderful about, this whole network marketing industry. In the words of Robert Kiyosaki, it has returned free enterprise to the United States of America, really, and the entire world. The entire free world has free enterprise returned thanks to the network marketing industry. Now, you guys are scratching it. You're thinking about it, or you're already involved with it, or you wouldn't be sitting here watching this video right now. So I'm telling you, take these components seriously because, you know, it, it changes your life. It changes your whole prospect, it, it, your whole outlook, everything, your attitude. You'll regain your freedom. Uh, if I want to go on vacation, I talk to Lisa. Lisa, my wife, she's our, she's our little travel agent. That's what she does. She loves that stuff. She books the trip and we go. I don't have to schedule a vacation. I just go. And, and the cool part about this is, unlike a job, I can take my laptop, a video camera, and, and I can work while I'm on vacation. 
And, and the best part is, you know, if you're working while you're on vacation, typically you can write the whole dang thing off. Uh, so you save a ton of money at tax time on this as well. There are, there are so many great values to being an entrepreneur versus an employee. And, and now that you're diving into this, I want you to take these things seriously because grab, again, grab your freedom. Regain control of your life. Learn to be a successful entrepreneur. Don't, don't answer for somebody else's dreams. I remember losing a job one time before I became an entrepreneur. Uh, I, I was doing this tech work for this company and uh, we built axles for pretty much every auto company there was. And uh, one of the lines got shut down and, and we were late on a delivery. And when you're late on a delivery for the big three, they charge you up the yin yang, okay? This guy lost a million and a half dollars overnight and he was just livid, screaming. And he's looking, I don't know why he was yelling at me, it wasn't my fault, but because uh, I wasn't even on that line. It wasn't one of my it wasn't one of my things, but I was standing there, so he was taking it out on me, screaming at me. How would you like to lose one and a half million dollars overnight? How would you feel? And all I could think to say to him was, you know what? I'd love to know what it felt like to lose 1.5 million and still drive a Viper to work the next day. And he got ticked off and kicked me out of the building. I really, you know, it sounded like a sarcastic remark, I guess, coming from me, but I, I didn't mean it that way. I really would love to know the difference or what it felt like to lose a million and a half dollars and still be able to drive a hundred thousand dollar car to work the next day. But as an employee, you'll never know. You'll never have that freedom. You'll never earn that kind of income. Chances are you couldn't even get close to that. Now as an entrepreneur, that's no longer an objective. I can accomplish anything I set out to do in life because as an entrepreneur, you control your future, you control your freedom, you set the value on your life, your time, and everything you do. You monetize yourself. Somebody else isn't doing it for you. So hey, take it all into consideration. And again, I know you guys are either doing it right now or you're thinking about it right now or you wouldn't be watching this video. So I'll tell you, you're on the right track. Just keep moving forward. And again, get the dollars for hours out of your mind. Become an entrepreneur. Learn how to succeed and regain control and freedom in your life.